what's good welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be telling you how to stop being the nice guy how to stop allowing people to take advantage of you in general because people do take advantage if you're new to the channel i'm boss money base and this is expensive facts All right, let's start like this. You have a lot of people out here that allow people to take advantage of them, allow people to manipulate their thoughts, dig in their pockets too much. You know, you're spending too much money on people that you're not supposed to be spending too much money on. You're just being a nice guy. You're footing the bill too much. You know, you're allowing people to rent space in your mind too much. People push you over. People look over you. People might skip you in line. People do a lot of things that you shouldn't be allowed because you're the nice guy. Women take advantage of you because you're the nice guy. And I'm going to tell you today how to not be the nice guy, how to stop being a nice guy. And I'm not telling you to be the mean guy and the grumpy guy. No, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you to stop being the nice guy. Number one. You have to stop asking and start suggesting. Well, maybe if we go out today, hey, can we go out today? Not, hey, can we go out today? It's suggesting, yo, listen, we should go this place. We should do this. Make suggestions. You're a man. Straighten up your backbone. Make these suggestions. Women respect you more when you make suggestions and don't ask. When you ask, you seem confused. When you ask, you're asking her to tell you what to do. We don't want that. You don't want to be told what to do. You want to direct traffic. You cannot be afraid. You also have to stop asking for permission. You, you just have to do sometimes. Sometimes you just have to do. When you ask for permission, it's also another form of weakness. Listen, man, I took it upon myself to make this happen right here. People respect you more when you make things happen. You have to make things happen in life. You have to make things possible. People will respect you more. They look at you better. The female will look at you better. Sometimes females look at you as if you have a weakness when you are not able to do things on your own time. When you look for others to do things with you. Simple things. You cannot put other people before you as well. People take advantage of these things. And that's where we go to tip number two. You have to know your limits. You got to know when to say when. You can never put yourself in a losing situation. When is when. You can't allow people to take advantage of you at no point in time. You have situations where people will take advantage of you because you don't know your limits. They push you, they push you, they push you. They push you, they push you, they push you. And they continue to push you because you don't know your limits. You have to take control. You also have to know when to say no. Family members, this is what family members, girlfriends, friends. Family members might call you and ask you, hey, can I borrow money? Girlfriend might call you and say, hey, I want to see you at this time. When you had something to do, your friend, he might request these that you... It's different things that people will request of you. And if you don't say no, they'll take advantage of you. This is what I want you to do. Fellas, I want you to practice saying no. When you don't feel right, I want you to practice Perfect. saying no. No, I can't. I'm not able to. Because if you're not practicing these things, then it'll put you in a situation where people will always make you the yes man. And the yes man, it's not good being a yes man. Number three, your next tip. You have to confront situations immediately. You can't let things linger in the back 
you got to confront situations when they happen. Now, the reason I'm telling you to confront situations when they happen, because this controls how you move. This controls how you react. Something happens, you deal with it immediately. So now the situation is not this big. You can't wait till situations get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And as soon as they get big, boom, you explode. The fuck, great. I'm done. You can't do that. You cannot do that. This is the reason I'm telling you to confront your situations immediately. Because if you hold that in and you keep it on the inside of you, what's going to happen is when you do have the chance to confront that situation, it's going to be super higher than what it was before. It's going to escalate so far when you could have just handled the situation when it started. Next tip, you have to be harder to reach. You can't be so accessible. I'm going to use me for example. When I was living in Brooklyn, before I moved to Yonkers, I was too accessible. I'm from Brooklyn. So my family members, accessible. Just come see me. Yo, what's good? Since popping up at my house. Hey, what's good? I don't like being accessible. I do not like being too accessible. When you're too accessible, people start to take advantage. My rule is this. This is me. I'm, once again, I'm going to use me for example. This is a small example. This is how people can take advantage of you. You may be home all day. Accessible. People feel like, all right, no problem. He's home. I know he's home. Let me go knock on his door. And you just allow him in. Now, I'll use me once again for example. If you come knock on my door and I didn't tell you to come knock on my door, I'm not answering my door because I didn't tell you to come knock on my door. I didn't allow you to say, hey, I was coming to see you. I was in the neighborhood. I'm going to stop by and see you. You call me before you come. And this is another thing with the phone. Female may call you unwarranted. Me, I'm asking you, who authorized this call? Who told you that you can call me right now? Nah, text me before you call me. I might be doing something. I might be busy. You have to be harder to reach. You understand? Being harder to reach also lets people know to play at an arm's distance. Your next tip, and this should be the best tip, Always be you. Never sacrifice you for another person. Never sacrifice who you are for the company of another person. Look, I don't care who you. It's about you. Be you. Nigga, be you, nigga. You have to be you. You have to be comfortable in your skin at all times. You have to be purpose driven. You have to be purpose driven and comfortable in your skin. If you're not comfortable in your skin and you get around people, you stacking, you start acting like people, you start acting like a different person. Now you're the clown. You're the person that people come around to see you clown. You have to be you. And being you and being comfortable with being you shows that you're not the nice guy, that you're just you. Be comfortable with being you because once you sacrifice yourself for another person, that gives them the opportunity to take advantage of you. And it also tells you that you have to be another person around somebody else. And you shouldn't have to be another person around anybody. You should always be you. Your next tip, stop expecting things back for being kind. Stop expecting things back for kind acts. Listen, if you're doing something out the kindness of your heart, and do it out the kindness of your heart. But once you start expecting things back from doing something kind, once again, you allow yourself to be taken advantage of. 
you allow a female, you allow a friend, you allow a family member to take advantage of you. Because in your mind, I'm doing this because I'm going to get something back. You're going to give me something back when I do this. It's either you do it from here or don't do it at all. Because if you're expecting something back, it's going to put you in a place where you're allowed to be taken advantage of. Because now they have an opportunity to play with your emotions. They have an opportunity to play with your feelings. And we're not in the game for this. You feel me? The last one. And I hope you take this very, very serious. At all times, you have to make yourself a priority. Yeah. Make yourself a priority. If somebody that you're dealing with can't put you first, then it's a problem. If you allow people to put you second, then it's a problem. Then it is a problem. You have to always make yourself a priority. You making yourself a priority allows you the power to not get taken advantage of. You feel what I'm saying? Because people will take advantage of you when you feel like you're not a priority. Well, what she has going on is more important than what I have going on. So I'm gonna go over there and help her out. No, what I got going on over here is way more important than what you got going on over there. So um, I'm gonna see you another time, especially if somebody is trying to make you feel like you're smaller or you're less of a person because of a situation that they have going on. It doesn't go like that. Make you a priority at all times. Need I say more? I'm Boss Money Bates, and this is expensive. As expensive to get, and that ain't no bullshit. Nickel.